Brad William Henke's family have confirmed today that the actor and former American footballer died on November 29 in his sleep, aged just 56. No cause of death has been given as of yet, Deadline reports. In a statement to TMZ, his manager said, Brad was an incredibly kind man of joyous energy. A very talented actor, he loved being a part of this community. And we loved him back. Our thoughts are with his wife and family. He is survived by his mother Tammy, his wife Sonia, stepchildren Aidan and Lisa and one grandchild named Amira. In his early career, Brad was drafted by the New York Giants in the 1989 NFL Draft, but was cut during training camp. He was then scouted by the Denver Broncos and played in Super Bowl XXIV against the San Francisco 49ers. However, injuries and six ankle surgeries led to his retirement from football in 1994, when he was 28. That same year, Brad began his acting career in adverts and went on to appear in blockbuster movies such as World Trade Center and Fury. He is best remembered for his work on Orange is the New Black as Desi Piscatella. He joined the cast in the show's fourth season and went on to win the Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by an Ensemble in a Comedy Series for 2016. Since news broke of his passing, many have taken to social media to pay tribute to the actor. Actor Brian Greenberg wrote, R.I.P. Brad William Henke aka Owen Rowan from October Road. Your heart was too big for this life. Bridget Moynihan echoed, had the pleasure of spending time on set of hashtag going to California with it went early in my career. A kind, generous and talented man. Shocking news as he was way too young. Thoughts and prayers are with his family and friends. Orange is the new black casting director, Jen Houston, said, This is a shock. Rest well, Brad. Thank you for all the work you contributed on Oiden. You will not be forgotten. And Tamara Torres, who plays the weeping woman on the show, tweeted, Brad William Henke with a loss. He was a great guy. Rest in peace Oiden brother. Brad had suffered some ill health in recent years and last year had to have an operation after it was discovered he had a 90% blockage of his artery. In June 2021, he explained that he had two stents put in his heart and spleen as well as half his pancreas removed to get rid of a golf-sized tumor. One month later, he seemed to have recovered well, writing on Instagram, I'm back. Thank you all for your support, I'm 100% healthy. No follow-ups, just get on with living a blessed life. He also said that he was feeling healthier than he had in 15 years.